This video provides an overview of some of the more creative assessments I've implemented in the learning management system Brightspace. The group oral presentation replaces a written assignment. There are several advantages to this. The primary advantage is that this case study presentation helps the students understand the relevance of the upcoming lecture and provides examples to reference during that lecture. Another advantage is that learners become familiar with using the textbook as a reference. They also have more choice in terms of topics and when their presentation is due uh, compared to when uh, to a written assignment with a single due date on a single topic. I've set up this assignment as a group in Brightspace. This allows students to collaborate online and submit their research notes via Turnitin. I can easily email members of the specific group, uh, for example, to send a reminder on their upcoming presentation. By searching for unenrolled students, I can also see who does not yet have a group. The group presentation includes a low inference marking checklist. You can see an extract here. A low inference checklist requires some upfront effort to articulate specific expectations but students more easily understand what is expected of them. Further, as the assessor, because I'm not required to use as much of my judgment, I find it is much easier and faster to assess using this type of checklist. I complete the checklist during the in-class presentation. I then scan and upload to turn it in as a feedback file. Alternatively, it would be possible to input uh, the checklist results into a Brightspace rubric. In either case, all members of the group have access to their feedback and mark breakdown via Brightspace. Peerwise is a website which allows students to draft and post multiple choice questions with their explanations of their correct answer. Students may also answer each other's questions and post comments. Thanks to Dr. Jim Panchuk for introducing me to this website and his guidance in developing an assessment. I find that the question and answer format requires online submissions to be more thoughtful as compared to a forum discussion activity. The, uh, the ability of students to augment a question author's explanation is great because it improves the overall quality of the online discussion and allows students to demonstrate knowledge of course content. Gamification and reputation scores may get students very motivated. An additional benefit is that students can use the question bank generated in Peerwise to practice prior to exams. Set Peerwise deadlines to one week before exams to allow this. Students can associate their question with one of the chapters using tags. Uh, when practicing, they can then focus on questions related to a specific chapter. I structure the assessment to include three check-in deadlines at which the students earn one mark for meeting a milestone. To mark a check-in, I download a participation summary from Peerwise as well as CSV, a CSV file from Brightspace for the grade column I need to mark. I manually update the CSV with a one for each student that met the milestone requirements. This is relatively quick with the two documents open in Excel side by side. I then upload the revised CSV file to Brightspace. The final Peerwise submission is assessed for overall quality. The rubric extract here shows the highest level of performance. There are other levels of performance in the rubric in addition to points for the check-ins. To complete the marking, I open the Peerwise website side by side with Brightspace. I review each student's contributions in Peerwise, then click the appropriate rubric boxes in Brightspace, where the student may access their feedback and mark breakdown. Again, the rubric is drafted to be low inference. This allows for faster, easier, and more transparent marking. 